Hi hey guys, this time on Deep Junk, we are going to <laughs> get into a Hot Wheels art car. <laughs> a 67 Mustang GT Coupe. Um, what can I say guys, there is a very, very, very fine line between art and crap. And this car falls on the latter side. <laughs> Uh, but if you look past all the yellow, pink, blue, purple, <laughs> you'll see a uh, 67 Mustang Coupe that's uh, proportioned well. It's got the uh, GT light bar in the grill, custom hood, we've got uh, front and rear spoiler, um, the side exhaust going through the, uh, the rocker trim there. A lot of the details, um, like the vents behind the doors, and that's all there. Although it be they they're a little fine, they're not as defined as I'd like. It, you wouldn't get too much paint and clear on that before you'd start uh, burying detail. So, with that said, uh, you know what we do with them anyway is is strip them and uh, paint them and replace the wheels. So all that bad stuff goes away. We've got uh, basic black interior to work with and clear glass, which is a godsend. Uh, we don't have my amber or blue or green glass to worry about. Um, it's got, like I said, just a decently proportioned little Mustang and uh, we should be able to do something cool with it. Uh, so stay tuned. Alrighty guys, uh, let's take a look at this uh, stuff here before I dump the body in the stripper. We've got the uh, colorful plastic chassis with those festive kind of wheels uh, the glass glass is nice tinted glass in it uh, interior basic black uh, dashboard looks right uh, seats look right it's got a console in it not too bad uh, the body when I pulled the windows out I did notice um, that up around the back uh, window there, that flash. Um, getting up on it, I probably probably gonna when that paint comes off, that uh, spoiler is gonna be a, a little goofy too. It'll need some sanding uh, right above the windshield on that roof line. There's some garbage going on in there, so we get the paint off. It'll tell the real story. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, got the Mustang out of stripper. I uh, popped the wheels off of that uh, beautiful red base. Um, Mustang does have some pretty heavy spots. The one in the, above the rear window there. I don't know how they do these. I would imagine they're almost in cast um, with uh, a tree on them like a, uh, like a plastic model part. And uh, that's where they must have attached this car. Uh, of course, there's another one above the windshield there. The detail in this thing is not very defined. Some of it is like the turn signals under the bumper there. And it's not very defined. It won't take too much paint, you know, to, in there to really make that uh, turn signal disappear. The bumper lines, um, stuff in this GT bar and the grill there with the lights on it uh, around the horse corral in the center. I would have thought that would have been a little bit more defined, but I guess not. So you're going to have to be careful. Clean it up and uh, maybe try to scribe some lines back in it. You know, the art car. <laughs> and again, the just pop the wheels off of that one. They're in the pile of wheels going to the uh, land of misfit wheels and tires. So that'll go get some paint, clean it up, clean the plastic up, and put some paint on that so you can start uh, laying in some uh, details. Uh, like I said, the interior not too bad. So, yep. Getting ready to move on these things. 
Alright, you guys, down here with the 67 Mustang. Little, uh, 67 uh, GT. It's a coupe. The art car. I've, uh, been working on the body a little bit. Just trying to smooth some, smooth, yeah, smooth, smooth some things out. Um, dead back spoiler for one. Uh, we had little marks up on the, uh, pillars. Back air sail panels, um, the roof cleaned up, and uh, it is going to be one that you won't want to put a whole lot of uh, paint on to lose, to lose some details. But uh, a little bit more to do on this, and, uh, up in these wheel openings and such, and uh, get it uh, smooth. The rest of it and cleaned real good and we'll take get that in the paint right now I'm going to focus on the chassis uh, it's I s splash some black paint on it and there's a beautiful red Woohoo! so what we're gonna do right now is I'll do the exhaust this one has have um, let's see if I can there you go in the light back here okay the differential uh, and it's got shock absorbers on this one. Even a little leaf spring, you can throw some detail at that. Depending on what you wanna, how much you wanna get into. Um, you can, against one black color, you can put another black in there, be contrasting. Um, it's all, it's all you. It's like our friend Bob Ross used to say, it's a, it's our happy, happy little world. It's a happy little world. So do the exhaust um, and some flat aluminum transmission bell housing uh, this differential um, the nine inch the third members in these in a Ford normally when they come out from the factory they were a red oxide finish on them well, I don't have any red oxide and this is a uh, you know modified car so I'll just do it in a little steel or something um, the shocks I'm not sure what what color to paint them um, interesting thing about that you could go on the internet now these days you can go on the internet and find what uh, performance shocks look like pick out what you want and paint it to match on your car and years ago before the internet was uh, well it was new kinda I we didn't have it yet so I uh, used uh, car magazines hot rod car craft popular hot rodding things like that uh, but what I would do is um, from my house, Summit Racing is about a 30 minute drive up the uh, up the highway to Talmadge, Ohio. And I would go up there when I was ordering my parts and then I'd just pick up a catalog and I started using the catalog as reference for my performance parts on my models. What's supposed to be gold anodized, what's black, what's red, you know. So you can pick out your shocks, your shock colors that way. Um, if sometimes they're usually broken up but see there's like a sway bar goes on the front but you got your where the post goes too so you only bet you know pieces of it on each side but it's something to think about gas tank too you know there's where the post runs right up in it you can uh, run your screw or if I I use like a, a glue or a uh, what you call the bonding stuff in there when it dries you could paint it silver over it or just black it out whatever you like so we'll do get on the exhaust doing this these uh, pieces like the exhaust I don't ever get like a you get goofy about having a real hard line on it I put paint on the brush and I usually just let it uh, kind of flow towards the edge of the part where I want it to go and then I don't really, it's not, I don't get it all the way up to the floor pan, but you, you wouldn't know by looking at it. Trick is getting the right amount of paint on to flow. Too little, it doesn't go. Too much, it goes down. Then you have to either fix it, put some more black in there, or uh, I do use a knife for a lot of things. A... A hobby knife once that is dry if you just lay it in um, 
if you just lay it in where you're going and just let it then just use the weight of the tool don't scratch it you can actually get this silver paint off of another color without going through the black um, it takes some time to get it to you know to kind of to do that but uh, I do that if it's still wet you can take a, a blade and just run down beside and kind of drag the paint along with it and it will clean up an edge that you might have some uh, some choppiness or something alrighty there's a finished exhaust we'll do the trainee uh, transmission and bell housing uh, one thing on this car being a Hot Wheels a lot of times they had those uh, backings uh, behind the wheels um, and, and I said this before I don't know why they're there uh, the only thing I can think of is so that when kids play with them they don't uh, turn the wheel under and bend the axle up right away it, it'll kind of keep the wheels from from doing that this car did not have those um, we've got just our uh, leaf springs here there's nothing up front there at the front suspension of course it doesn't show any control arms or anything it's just uh, where the axle goes up here it's kind of flat um, it looks like some kind of a cross member. You've got a little bit of oil pan up there, and then, and then the uh, slot for the or the hole for the uh, post. So, yeah, it, so that didn't need to be cut off. I normally I cut those off, and I, then I sand and file that stuff down and get rid of them all. So when you're looking at the car from the front or the back, you don't see those goofy uh, backings on them. This is painted the same way, just kind of let it flow down. I'm not, uh, I'll let the paint create the line and it does sound like something Bob Ross would say. <laughs> let the paint create the line. Huh, how about that? I didn't know that. Curly Harry had wasn't his own. That was a, a uh, permanent. He had it one time, and then he went on the TV and he became popular. And they asked him why you still have it. He goes, "Well, that's how the people know me now." It was on his branding, on his paints and stuff that he was selling, and uh, that's how everybody knew him was by that hair. So he couldn't couldn't get rid of it. <laughs> Too bad. Alrighty, paint job number two, and we're looking pretty good on this one. Ah, oh, look at that driver's door. No big gooners in that. The roof looks good. The hood. Yeah. Now, why couldn't I do that the first time? Alrighty guys, our 67 Mustang GT Coupe, the former art car, <laughs> is finished up. Is it better than what it was? Yes, definitely. Anything was better than that, what it, <laughs> what it was. I'm not real thrilled with it. I think that uh, the color that I put on going for a uh, kind of uh, Eleanor type of feel uh, was a little too dark this car the details were light in the casting to begin with to put a dark color on it um, and it's not really till you get in in front of the camera put it in front of the camera that you see that color that the sparkle comes out and just runs right over any of the detail that's on it the uh, little vent, uh, vents the uh, behind the doors there in that quarter panel you can hardly see those uh, the turn signals up front under the bumper and the valance, you can barely see those. In fact, right there, I just barely see them. Yeah. So, should have been a lighter color. Uh, 
wheels I used, uh, I tend to go to these wheels a lot. I like that style of wheel, a mini late wheel. It's got a Trans Am feel of the late 60s, early 70s. And on this car, you know, a Mustang Coupe, there was a lot of them in Trans Am racing, so kind of goes with it. The uh, I went for a, a, a less is more, well, I'm not looking at it on this, on the camera, the paint kind of, uh, jumps out. It was supposed to be a subtle, you know, silver gray. But uh, I didn't do the stripes on the rockers and up over the roof and stuff. Um, just keeping some stuff blacked out against the gray, trying to keep it, you know, a, a less is more deal. Um, with that, the the hood up there, the, just the scoop part uh, was done in black. Say blacked out the out the grill, the spoiler up front, and I down there get this thing to there it is to focus in on it. Blacked out the spoiler around back, kind of the same thing. A blacked out tail light panel, the reverse lights and the balance underneath the bumper. Again, hard to see. And underneath, we've got uh, the oil pan in blue. Our transmission's done. Exhaust out those side panels there. Uh, shocks and a third member on the rear end there. And the leaf springs are done in a contrasting black. Interior, there's not a lot to see in there. It was basic black. There's just a little bit of stuff done. And the shifter knob, it's barely visible in there. Uh, Again, that's what a lot of dark colors get you. You tend to lose uh, any detail in a 64 scale car. So I tried to push at lighter colors and uh, that was a mistake putting this color on the car, trying to do a, you know, that was the first thing when you see the spoilers and all that was an LNR type of, and uh, so I don't think we'll be doing those uh, darker colors much anymore. Well, there it is guys i appreciate you checking it out thanks everyone who has subscribed who's coming on board i really thank everyone and if you're just uh if you're just checking it out uh hit the like and the subscribe i'd appreciate it um we will see you in the next one thank you